Shalom, family. Shalom. I want to share something really quick that I was reading this morning, and it really caught my attention, and it really stirred something in my heart, and I just wanted to share this with you. It's found in the 19th chapter of uh, the book of Matthew, and uh, it's a very profound scripture. The, uh, the scripture really, really goes against what a lot of people are are preaching and teaching from the pulpit now uh, I'm not going to do anything but simply read and show that a lot of what uh, people are preaching from pulpits just isn't 100% correct so let's go to the 19th chapter of the book of Matthew and let's start off in verse 13 now before I get started I just wanted to set the context really quick here we will see that Messiah is um, he's going up against the Pharisees, the scribes, and there's people all around, and he's giving a very good and precise and concise uh, teaching regarding what the kingdom of the Most High is, and what must we do to inherit this kingdom. So in verse 13 it says, Then they brought little children to him, speaking of the Messiah, that he might lay his hand on them and pray. And his disciples rebuke them who brought these little children. But the Messiah said to them, Allow the little children to come to me, and do not stop them, for the kingdom of heaven is for such as these. And the Messiah laid his hand on them, and went away from there. Then a man drew near and said to him, O oh, good teacher, what is the best thing that I should do to have eternal life? That is the key verse. What must I do to inherit eternal life? This man wants to know. He wants to know what is it that I must do to, inter to uh, inherit eternal life. The Messiah said to this man, Why do you call me good? There is no one who is good except the one God. But if you want to enter into life eternal or eternal life, obey the commandments. Obey the commandments. I didn't say them. Uh, I'm only reading what the scripture says. And the person who is saying this is the Word Himself, the Word of the Most High, who, who was manifested in the flesh. He says, in order to gain eternal life, to inherit eternal life, you must keep the commandments. And in verse 18, the man now wants to have a clear and uh, precise understanding of what Messiah is talking about. I think what we all would, right? We want to know exactly what it is to inherit eternal life. And in verse 18, he said to him, the man said to Messiah, which ones? And the Messiah said to this man, you shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear witness, false witness. Honor your father and your mother and love your neighbor as yourself. Now, that is the Ten Commandments. That is the Ten Commandments. The Messiah is saying, in order for you to inherit eternal life, you must keep at the bare minimum the Ten Commandments. I didn't say them. It is written. The Messiah himself is quoted as saying, in order to inherit eternal life, you must keep at least at the bare minimum the Ten Commandments but it doesn't stop there let's continue on in verse 20 the young man said to Messiah I have obeyed all these from my boyhood and I think he has this he asked a sincere question what do I lack the man asked Messiah what am I missing and here's another part that's very important to understand it's not just about keeping the commandments, but there is a two-part uh, formula. Let's look at verse 21. 
And Jesus said to him, or the Messiah said to him, If you wish to be perfect, go and sell your possessions and give them to the poor, and you will have a treasure in heaven. Then follow me. When the young man heard this word, he went away sad, for he had great possessions. Then the Messiah said to his disciples, Truly I say to you, it is a difficult thing for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Again I say to you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of the Most High. Verse 25, when the disciples heard it, they were exceedingly astonished, saying, Who then can be saved? And here's the important thing we need to know. Verse 26, the Messiah looked at his followers and said, For men this is impossible, but for God everything is possible. So the next time you hear someone from the pulpit saying, the commandments were done away with because they were difficult to do and no one could keep them this goes against everything the Messiah just said he the Messiah the son of the most high the word made flesh said in order for you to keep or to have eternal life you must keep the commandments but the commandments are to be done out of love for being saved by the Most High. The commandments are being kept because you are saved. Because you are in a relationship. You have forsaken everything and followed the Messiah. You have forsaken the doctrines and teachings of men. And you have received the revelation that indeed, if you are in a covenant relationship with your Creator, in order to receive eternal life, you must keep the commandments out of love for him and out of love for being saved, delivered from sin. I didn't say it. It's in there. So the next time you hear someone say, Paul said, there is none good and there is none righteous. The Messiah says, yeah, you can be righteous. You can be perfect, blameless, whole, complete. If you keep the commandments out of love for God and for your fellow man, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, and the body or the person walks blamelessly or perfect before the Most High. I hope this lesson really touched your heart. And again, come unto the kingdom of the Most High as little children. Forsake everything, mother, father, everything, your riches, your possessions and trust that the Most High will deliver you. Shalom.